Well, a little gray, but not too bad of a day to get outside on the ice. Scott Steele joins us now with how many more of these mild days we can expect. Except that ice was melting out there, right, Shannon? Yeah, yeah. we enjoyed the January it, thaw. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> right. Mid-January thaw in full effect. And it's even warmer out to the west. If you know anybody lucky enough to be watching firsthand that game, the big game tomorrow in Seattle, well, I hope they have an umbrella or the rain gear handy, as we've seen through our live shots out there. It is wet and will continue to be wet, just not quite as wet tomorrow. The showers gradually lightening up as we go through the game. About 50 degrees with strong winds. Here's a live look at all the warnings and watches out there. And they have uh, flood watches and wind advisories throughout Washington State, including the Seattle area. The satellite and radar combination shows copious amounts of rains rising on shore and into uh, most all of the Pacific Northwest as these little storm systems continue marching uh, from the Pacific uh, to the shoreline. Meantime, back home around southeastern Wisconsin, a lot of clouds around here, no significant precipitation to speak of. A live look from our downtown tower cam showing all those clouds. And in your weather headlines this Saturday night, more mild air on the way tomorrow, continued cloudy, although I think we'll see a little more sun breaking through the clouds tomorrow afternoon and a few flakes flying through the air tonight and again on Tuesday. Outside right now across the area, our temperatures just off the highs of the day and the highs were amazing. 42 today, the top temperature in Milwaukee, 44 in Racine, 40 in Fondy, flirting with 40 degrees in Waukesha, West Bend, just about everywhere across our area. Temperatures outside right now, as I say, just a few degrees off of that high in the mid 30s right now and temperatures about 5 to 15 degrees warmer than just 24 hours ago and fairly uniform readings throughout the upper Midwest, so no big chills on the way. Satellite and radar combination showing all the cloudiness persisting even as a weak disturbance passes off to our east. We'll continue to see the quiet conditions. So your storm team forecast tonight, cloudy, breezy and mild. Just a few passing flurries down to about 30 for tomorrow on our Sunday. Look for mostly cloudy conditions. It's going to continue to be seasonally warm up to near 36. Here comes your storm team seven day forecast and get ready for the next round of precipitation to come after the holiday on Tuesday. Could see just a little bit of snow or rain snow mix, but the bigger story later in the week will be temperatures dropping like a rock. In fact, we could see readings plummeting back to the 20s and I think Friday morning all the way into the teens. So, you know, that's more than half uh, of what we have right now. We're, we're <laughs> about, you know, in the 30s to near 40. That'll be the teens. Much, much chillier. Oh, I know what that feels like. <laughs> yeah, you do. All right. Well, next in.